So these are my illustrations. And basically, Joseph made it so. Pharaoh enslaved all of Egypt, pretty much, because everybody had to come and get food from them in the time of the Great, great Famine. And so Israel was finally on his deathbed and blessed all the family, all the sons got blessings. He told everybody what was going to happen, all the tribes of Israel, and how they were going to be. Asher the baker, Dan was a snake, Gad a rebel. Um, Joseph was, obviously Joseph, working in Egypt still. And Benjamin was going to obviously have great blessings. He was going to succeed with everything. And, you know, all of their other brothers had their things that were going on. Reuben was cursed because apparently he saw he laid in his dad's bed. I don't really understand what that has to do with anything. Um, maybe somebody can explain that to me. But um, So, yeah, he... Uh, he ruined his blessings. And then Simeon and Levi, they were just both bad cutthroats. Judah was going to rule over a ball, apparently. So that was the 12 tribes of Israel, and it was really nice to see how everybody was going to pan out. And then, unfortunately, Israel died. And there was the great mourning. And Joseph lived for 110 years. He saw his grandchildren, great grandchildren. After everybody in that generation died, several generations later, they became the Israelites. And the Israelites grew to be so many that the current Pharaoh got upset with them, saying they numbered too many. And then he decided that uh, he wanted to enslave them. I mean, they were already pretty much enslaved and working for him, so he started killing off their their males, telling the the um, midwives to just kill off any male that ever, ever came, and they couldn't do it because they believed in the fear of God. They believed that Jehovah would punish them if they were to kill all these newborn babies. So they were like, okay. But when it came down to it, they said, you know what? By the time we got there, the women would already have the baby, so we couldn't kill them. So, that was interesting. And then there comes about the story of Moses being put into the Nile. It was a Levi man, um, the family the, of Levi's sons and daughters, a, a son of Levi and a daughter of Levi got together in the family, not, you know, just like direct descendants, but somewhere in the family, they got together and the baby that was born ended up being Moses. And that's how all that plays in. And I just thought that was really cool. <laughs>